Finally, face to face with the golden mask of Tutankhamun today, the Princess of Wales looked a bit camera shy. But it might have been something to do with the crush of tourists in the Cairo Museum, equally determined to get their own look at the exhibits. Forcing a way through for the princess became more a matter of luck than judgment for the security screen around her. Although tempers did fray amongst the crowds, there were more cheers than jeers. Despite the obvious anger of the officials, the princess took it all in good heart. She even spoke to one of the tourists in French, apologizing for the disruption she was causing. In the afternoon to Luxor, the ancient capital of Thebes. The temple of Karnak was the most important temple in Egypt at the height of Theban power. The immense hall with its 134 columns could easily swallow London St. Paul's and Rome St. Peter's in one go. In the Valley of Queens, where the wives and children of the royal families were buried, the princess visited the tomb of Queen Nefertari. She was the wife of Ramses II, who ruled 1,300 years before Christ. The paintings in the tomb look like they were finished only yesterday, but that's thanks to restoration work recently completed. So what did she think? The clarity is exceptional, really quite extraordinary, she said. David Chater, ITN, in Cairo.